XRP is on a tear right now since back in mid-October when all of the explosiveness came back into crypto. XRP is now up 48% back up to that 70 cent region, which has a lot of people asking, is a dollar coming very soon? Are we going to do what we couldn't do here a couple of months ago and finally get this ball rolling to new highs for XRP? Of course, a lot of this has to do with the excitement that Ripple is going to be they're probably going to be filing for an IPO here very, very soon. But is that good for XRP? Is that bad for XRP? We actually talked about that in our Saturday stream a little bit. I'm not going to spend too much time on this video, but I will look at the charts and we're going to talk about XRP. Also, Cardano doing exactly what we thought it would do. Ethereum finally hit that $1,900 moment. Bitcoin kind of sitting around and doing nothing is this the beginning of the altcoin season let's take a look at what we're seeing over on some charts starting off here with the xrp chart now as i said up 80 percent since all the way back here october 18th that's when a lot of things got very interesting in the crypto space we have kissed and uh, we're kind of wrestling with the 70 cent zone as we are speaking now there's a couple things i'm looking at here that you definitely should be aware of let's start off with fibonacci now fibonacci levels very important here you guys can see when we go over we have just broken through just broken through the 0.5 when we go to the log chart we're getting into the space we're wrestling with that golden pocket what's going to happen here let's take a look at some other indicators in the space as well we're going to start off here on the daily chart let's take a look at the oscillators are saying over here Cohen come on up for us there we go so we are getting an overbought flash we also are seeing the oscillators the rsi excuse me up at 98 we have not seen rsi this high since the rejection we had way back here in july so are we getting to a spot where we're starting to get overextended we haven't been overbought we haven't had the overbought flash since all the way at that time and we also have not been this high uh on the rsi since that time so is this a duplication of that or is this the bulls mounting a new support level let's take a look at some other indicators as well let's take down that fibonacci level let's take down uh our oscillators as well what are we looking like over here market oracle we've just broken through the red resistance band that's another thing that we did back here and you guys can see every time we've done this yeah you had explosive movements but it's followed by pretty harsh correction uh over here we did it back in march of 2023 this was followed by a 30 percent pullback of course you guys know back here in july this was followed by over a 50 percent pullback coming in closer towards uh 55 percent are we going to see another significant pullback now that we've broken through could we see ourselves revisiting this 57 55 cents and then this time actually using it for support or is this just the beginning are we even though we're seeing the signs of of bearish rejection are, is this just the beginning that we're going to be blasting up to new all-time highs very very soon let's take a look at some other indicators here let's go down to the four hour chart and pull out those oscillators again lots of bearishness right here i i do think after seeing all of the bearish indicators coming on these lower time frames i think it's a matter of time before this rejection happens and the fact that the daily chart is kind of telling us hey it, it might be time let's take a look let's go a little higher let's go two daily uh seeing the overbought on the two daily again not something that used when you see these overbought signals these have not missed these are not followed by movements to the upside. They're followed by corrections. Let's see on the three daily chart. Do we keep getting it? Yeah, three daily chart, same thing. Do we make it all the way to the five daily chart? Not quite on the five daily chart. <clears throat> now, doesn't mean that, that we have to wait for that to happen, but there's gonna be something the bulls are definitely gonna keep an eye on and say, hey, can we, can we watch out for those levels? Uh, some other levels you definitely want to watch out for. Let's go more macro here. Let's do our Fibonacci levels way, way out here, going down from the top back here in 2021 all the way to what the bottom was back in June of 2022. Of course, golden pocket back up there towards 95. Right up here, if we keep pushing, 75 cents is the 0.5 level. That's probably the next spot you're looking at for some serious resistance on XRP. If 70 cents uh, gets blasted through, if we keep breaking up, if you see 71, 72 cents, more than likely we'll see a continuation all the way up towards that 75 would be what I would say about XRP. But again, I, I still think corrections are coming these are great explosive movements but they're common uh this one has way more to do with news this one you can't really look at history and say oh we knew based off of history that we were going to pump 100 in one day that was the explosiveness of that news but the idea of having these big big rallies during pre-bull market opportunities and followed by big retracements that's very very common for bitcoin for altcoins for the like let's 
to go ahead and go away from XRP for a second. Let's take a look at Cardano. Cardano doing something similar to what we said it would do. I told you guys here last week, if we could break through 33 cents, there just wasn't a lot of resistance all the way up towards 36. Now we haven't gotten there yet. Let's take a look at some Fibonacci and some fixed range volume profile levels here. Uh, you guys will see that 36 cent zone right there in our golden pocket. You'll also see when we pull up fixed range volume profile, recent movements have increased the volume in this area that was not that high earlier. But like we said right here, when we could break through 33, break to that 0.5 level, we hesitated at it for two days. And then there's just not a whole heck of a lot of volume all the way up here to the value area, to the value area high up into that golden pocket. Again, we've created some with most recent movements here. That means people are buying in this area. Maybe they were watching the investing bros. I don't know, uh, but we're making that move up. I, I would be very surprised if we don't finish this off and touch into that 36 cent zone and you'll see we're ignoring here in Cardano. We did have our overbought flash way back here. We had bearish divergence come in during this peak right here, which kind of made me a little skeptical saying, hey, is this the top? But we've blasted on through. We're moving on up. Let's see what the four hour chart is telling us from the oscillator perspective. We're riding very high. I do think a reversal is coming. RSI is sitting very, very high, but that doesn't mean the bullish just has to be over. We just have a little bit left where we before we hit that target. Would not be surprised to see us do it. Like I said, Ethereum was the last one I was looking at here. Let's go back to the daily chart. Almost every other coin had hit my targets. I'd given it for it or gone a little higher, except for Ethereum. I was talking about this red line. I don't know why my red line's a little, a little slanted right there. Let's pick it back up. I talked about this red line right here, this resistance zone of the uh, falling channel. I said, watch out for a touch of 1900. It looks like we went a little bit higher than that. In fact, the high we got to was $1,912. So we actually went a little bit above. Uh, but now that we've hit that, uh, you're seeing there's, there's a chance we push up a little bit higher, although <clears throat> we've hit our target now at this point. Uh, you could see this go ahead and move to the downside. I'm not going to be surprised. Yeah, we're seeing something similar to Cardano uh, happen here, uh, where technically, even though we're sitting at resistance, we're ignoring some of these bearish calls. Although this one, we're kind of trading sideways after the bearish call. Cardano, we kept moving the upside. Here on Ethereum, we hit that 1900 area and we're now we're moving sideways after the bearish divergence and the red reversal triangle. So, could we make a move a little bit higher to the upside? Possibly. Let's see what would what would be an area that would be interesting to take a look at. Let's look at the, look at the fixed range volume profile. <sighs> I don't know, like maybe, maybe we could get, you know, <laughs> There's a dip up here towards 1930. Maybe we make a push up towards 1930. If the bulls really take control and they want to get back up to the highs we had up here at 2028, uh, those are the highs we had back here in July. You're also going to see that's been a major level of resistance here for a while. Even though we have one wick that goes above it here, let me go and put that down. We have uh, some candles go above it right here back in April. That level has been very significant for resistance, having one, two, three, four touches. Do we make it five? Do we break through it now? Is this the altcoin season i'm not convinced i'm not convinced just yet but i do think that this is some explosiveness that's happening and let's talk about why that is we're going to close up with this one and this is the bitcoin dominance chart this is doing again kind of what we expected a lot of these moves on these altcoins are not surprising us here at investing bros i still think retracements are coming but i told you guys to watch out for two different places to re reject that we're moving to the downside of bitcoin dominance watch out as we're just kissed it this high that we had back here on October 20th, are we going to reject here at 5272 or do we make a move down to the lows we had back here slash the tops we had back in June? Uh, do we come all the way down towards 5210, 52.10%? Not going to be surprised if that happens. Again, this is a normal retracement during a rally and you're going to see also daily chart. Even though we're not seeing anything flash here, it'd be nice to see either red reversal, a bullish divergence, an oversold, but we are seeing the green histograms flashing right here. That means to buy usually on these MVP oscillators. Let me scoot it over here so you can see it better. Usually when you see these come in, those are pretty decent little buy signals. That means the momentum is slowing down here. Uh, when you go down to the four hour chart, now you are gonna start seeing the signs of rejection. Massive green histograms, massive bullish divergence coming in here. So. Do we have further go for the dominance or do we reject right here? Either way, I do think, I do think that this is going to be a period of time where yes, we had a nice rally and Bitcoin led the way and this Bitcoin dominance made it to new highs for the year. But when retracements do come right now, it's the time of the altcoins, but when retracements come, don't be surprised to see Bitcoin fall, but all these altcoins fall even faster. And that's where we see the Bitcoin dominance chart move to the upside pretty, pretty explosively. But 
with that said that's all i have for you in this video let me know if you agree or disagree what are your targets for these coins let me know in the comments below smash that like button and hit subscribe to the channel if you love technical analysis and following all of the cryptos that you love also let me know what some other coins you want me to do some charting on make sure you join us at 3 p.m today for our live show here on investing bros and with that said that's all i got for you guys i will see you in the next video